Hello and welcome back. Welcome to the DIY Affiliates World. Welcome to all new authors out there. This is Rochelle from the DIY Affiliate on YouTube and the Secret YouTuber on TikTok. I would like to help you to be able to write, publish, and market your own novel. I'm doing this video for all new people who are just beginners. So many people say, I want to write a book. I want to be an author, but I don't know where to start. Or I've started writing a book and I just didn't have the motivation to finish it. Or I just don't know what writing a book actually really involves. Or maybe I don't have good grammar or I don't know how to spell. I believe everybody has the ability to create a novel. You are the creator of your own script. Much the same as you can use your imagination to create a new script where there are no limits, only what you put on yourself. In this video, I am going to show you very quickly my six steps in which I used to write my own novel. Without further ado, I give you just the facts. Let's jump into the video. Number one, an idea or a spark. Many of us have different ideas and imaginings that cross our minds every day. It's hard to know which one of these you want to pursue. The best answer is stick with the idea that excites you the most. The idea that draws you in. The idea that you feel you can carry out into a fabulous, amazing, great story. You may have a lot of ideas right now that could possibly become stories sitting in your subconscious mind. But you have to try to stay on track. Look at the idea that most excites you. If it excites you, it will excite others reading your story. If you write something and you are not moved or excited when you read it, the odds are the reader will not be as well. Are you willing to work with an idea to make it into a great fiction story. Do you have any ideas right now? Leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear your comments. Number two, brainstorming. Now that you've chosen the idea that you're most excited about, it's time to come up with the rest of the story. If you're writing science fiction or fantasy or even any other type of genre, such as historical romance, pretty much anything. Also, adding your own personality traits. If you are writing your own story, and I am talking about writing a fiction or a fantasy story. My story that I wrote was based on research and finding real facts and also using my own personality traits. You can brainstorm anything in this world. Where does your story take you? Your character elements. How many characters will you have? Who are your main characters? What are their goals, their motivations? And most important, what do you see as their changes as you weave your story? Number three. Create a document using your word, open a new document, put your headset on and use the Microsoft dictate. And this is where you will put all of your brainstorming ideas together for all characters, all the events that, that is happening. And this will make up most of your elements that you are going to use throughout your novel. Organized by category. Have all of your elements in the same document. All in one place. And this will be your plot. Your character, your character scenes, your goals for your characters, your motivations, and your changes. Number four is your outline. 
If you are a structured, disciplined person, then an outline will work for you. So what is an outline of a novel? Floor of the Spark, the reason for your book, the definition of what is your book going to be about, your central idea, and you expand on it. The goal of the characters, whether you're having battle scenes, intense twists and turns, which is your good character, your main character, the person who saves the world, your superhero, your antagonist, which is an evil corporation, a company that's set on world domination, or just anything that's nefarious or evil. Remember, everything is open to change at any time. Nothing is set in stone. Once you know the important details of your plot, for me, everything started with seeing Mars for the first time in 2003. It is also important to do research because when you research, you find a truth that can be used in your fiction story to make it seem more real. And this truth will be based on research of a character, a place, a structure, a company. Anything that you are putting in your story to make it seem more believable and more real. Know your story settings. Where does your story actually begin? Who is telling the story? Who is the narrator of your story? Is there one narrator, two narrators, three narrators? Remember, anything can be changed at any time. Experiment with your outline. Just see if outlining will work for you. If, if you feel outlining is going to kill your own creativity, then just make it a brief outline. Take all of the ideas from your brainstorming, your outline, and go from there and determine how much you really want to outline or how much you need to outline. You may have something that you've taken from your brainstorming phase that sparks another idea that will give you even more ideas and also suggestions. With a little bit of research, you can make any fiction story believable. Number five. Now you're sitting with a blank page in front of you. You finished your outline and you wanna move on to your blank page. And this can be a little scary because this is where you may get something called writer's block, but not to worry. And it doesn't matter how crappy you think your story is or if you think it's just not good enough, not exciting enough, but you still have the idea and you still have the thought you want to make sure you either write this down or use your Microsoft Dictate with a headset to put this information down so that you have it for future use. And you're going to be creating a lot of drafts. So now you're ready to actually start writing your first chapter. Now just focus on filling that page with your words that are good and descriptive. And you want to watch your words. And this is where the power thesaurus comes in to be able to use the right kind of descriptive words along with Grammarly for your grammar and spelling and using the right descriptions and the right words. And this will be your template. As you go through your novel, you will get used to it, especially when you use different programs that will help you to be able to use the different words and that will help you with your grammar and your spelling. Number six, and this is important. What is your reason? What is your reason that you are writing this book? I believe that you can write a novel. Yes, you will have many drafts, but if the motivation is there and the reason is there to start writing, then you can just 
keep on, keep on either dictating using your headset and the Microsoft Dictate or using your keyboard and doing the editing later. Don't worry about your, your spelling or your grammar. There are going to be days when you just don't feel like writing. Or maybe you've written something and you feel you can write it better. This is important for beginners to understand that creativity is important. It is the number one thing that you will need in order to create your first fiction novel. Along with the creativity, it's the motivation, your will to write. Do you have the will to write? Do you have the motivation to keep writing? There's going to be times that you're just not going to feel like writing. Don't force yourself to. Do you have the motivation to sit there day after day in the zone of writing? Some days are going to be better than other days. And you're going to have some days where you just want to sit there and either write or dictate all day long. There's going to be times when you can just sit down and write and the words, the scenes, everything will come automatically and easily. Or you sit down and you put your headset on and you start to dictate and you read it back and it seems like eh, something doesn't sound interesting and then you permanently de delete that. Don't do that. Don't delete anything because you can take anything and edit it and turn it into something better. I sometimes use too many words. So that is why I use programs that will help me with my grammar, my spelling, my punctuation, such as Grammarly and the Power of Thesaurus. And I will be doing a video on the power of the source because this is very important to be very descriptive in your writing. Now, I'm not going to tell you that it's going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. But if you follow all other videos I have created for this series, you are the creator. You are the creator. You will find the easiest, fastest, and most cost-efficient way to be able to write, publish, and market your own book through the Kindle Direct Publishing. In the videos, I show you that as you are dictating, you are also creating. You are allowing your mind to travel to any place that it wants to go. And any thought is not a bad thought. Any thought, any idea, any spark of imagination that you have, you will be able to capture it. Dictating a novel is so much easier than having to write or use a keyboard. You can do the editing later. Writing, editing, and changing things are constant, and you will be doing this all through your video. There will be times where you start in one direction and end up in another direction, and that is okay. And then you realize, well, maybe that doesn't make sense, so now I have to go back and I have to rewrite something. That is okay. Does it take discipline? Yes. Are you going to be able to do this at your own time and your own pace? Yes. Try not to beat yourself up. If you don't feel creative and you don't feel like writing, then don't force yourself to. I did put a time limit on when I was writing or rewriting my novel, the book that I started in 2003. And I then restarted in 2022. So as an example, you may have some papers or you may have books that you've already started. I started the book that I published in 2003 and life just got in the way. As an example, you may have papers or you may have even books that you started before. And this could be a spark for your imagination. The main thing to remember is to actually know how to get into the zone of writing. This video is over. Please subscribe for the next video and I will show you how to get into the zone of writing. I am also doing a Facebook Live about how to get into the zone on Friday, May 10th. So please join my Facebook group so you can be kept up to date with all of these videos. I will be doing this in You Are The Creator series. Thank you for watching. 
stay safe and have yourself a wonderful evening.